Earthquakes by Ellen J. Prager, illustrated by Susan Greenstein. Shake, rattle, and roll. Buildings, trees, and the ground sway when the earth gives way. Earthquake! Earthquakes happen on earth every day. Most are small, too small to feel. But at least once a week, there is a strong earthquake somewhere on the planet. A strong earthquake can mean disaster for people who live nearby. The ground shakes, jumps, and rolls while people run for safety. Buildings may crack or crumble. Roads can be ripped apart. What causes an earthquake? Earthquakes happen when rocks inside the land or under the sea break apart. Rocks can break when they are squeezed, stretched, or pulled in different directions. Rocks break sort of like a rubber band that has been stretched too far. If the rocks are stretched, squeezed, or pulled too much, they split apart, then snap back slightly out of place. When rocks break, lots of energy is released. Where does the energy go? Breaking rocks send energy into the ground. The energy causes the ground to move in what we call an earthquake. To a person, an earthquake can feel like shaking, a sudden jolt, or a slow roll. An earthquake can last for just a few short seconds or go on for several very long minutes. Most earthquakes happen because Earth's outer surface is moving. Like a huge jigsaw puzzle, the planet's outer surface is made up of big pieces called plates. These plates move very slowly in different directions, so slowly you can't feel them moving. Over time, the plates slide, slip, and bump into each other along their edges. Most earthquakes happen along the edges of Earth's big plates. Look at the map showing earthquake activity. Can you name two places where earthquakes happen most often? Earthquakes are common in California, especially along the famous San Andres Fault. Two of Earth's biggest plates meet at the San Andres Fault. These two plates move in different directions. Over time, the rocky edges of the two plates bump and stick together, slowly stretching and pulling. Every once in a while, the rocky edges break, release energy, and cause earthquakes. In an earthquake, the ground may move up, down, or sideways. Sideways motion is very dangerous because it can cause tall buildings to sway back and forth or weak houses to collapse. In areas where earthquakes are common, people are learning how to build their homes and buildings that will stay safe when the ground moves. In places where the ground is made of soft sand, shaking can cause buildings to sink down and tumble over. Where earthquakes happen, buildings and homes should be specially designed and be built on solid ground. Sometimes there are many small earthquakes before the big one. These are called foreshocks. After the big earthquake, the main shock, again there may be small quakes. These are called aftershocks. No one has found a sure way to predict earthquakes, so the best protection is to be prepared and know what to do. Find a safe place and stay away from things that could come crashing down. We cannot prevent earthquakes from happening. Earthquakes are part of Earth's changing nature. Scientists study earthquakes to learn more about them and to help prevent injury and damage. One day we may be able to predict earthquakes and give people more warning. Have you ever felt an earthquake?